Hey guys, it's Heather and I have a surprise short story today. So um, I thought I had canceled all my boxes or postponed them and this little guy showed up in the mail yesterday. So you know, since you've already paid the $25 styling fee, we might as well see what's inside, right? Maybe I get something I'm supposed to have. I don't know. It is before work. Um, I, I'm going to do this kind of fast and Adam is going to film me in just a second so that I don't take too long. So it's gonna be like old days, yay. All right, if you don't know, Short Story is a petite styling service. It is a $25 styling fee. Um, they do have a return mailer for anything that doesn't work for you, and I, that's why I wanted to go ahead and get this uh, film so that I could go ahead and return anything um, that I'm not going to keep. Here is my little booklet. It says, hello, Heather. Welcome back. I hope you've had... I hope you've been well and having an amazing start to 2021. I can't believe it's already March. To give you a fresh start on the shift into spring, I've picked out the lighter wash Absolution crop jeans and it would look so effortlessly chic with the Vera tank. Next, I included a classic, oops, Christy sweater. Oh, I think I've already tried one of these things already. So we have some very summer and very, very winter. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'll read it later. Um, Oh, the, she does say the sweatshirts tend to look overwhelming on petites, but not this one. So she says she can't wait till the next unboxing video. So as you know, I haven't been doing as many of those lately. I just uh, don't need the clothing right now, and I don't really have the time to do them all. So this one was kind of a surprise. I'm here. All right, let's take a little look. Here is my little bundle. I will also say that I have a feeling some of these things are going to be a little too small for me. I have put on a couple of pounds and I am starting to be a little more cautious about that right now. Um, I've not been eating out. I've completely done with um, fast food, not eat, uh, just trying my very best. But with our schedule, we don't always get to eat at home. No excuses. I put on a few pounds. Alrighty, here is what came. And I'm gonna just look at my list here and we'll go from there. So this is the Christy V-neck striped pullover sweater. Look at this. The lines line up. It's in a relaxed silhouette for breezy wear made from a soft knit fabric that provides cozy warmth. So that's super cute, but I will tell you, I don't need sweaters right now. Um, we are, it's the beginning of March, but there are some days where we're hitting almost 80 degrees. The nights are still kind of cold. We still will hit freezing at night, but then we go up 40 degrees, 50 degrees in just a few hours. So probably not gonna be picking up any sweaters. And does it say how much that one is? It's $52 and it's a medium petite in ivory and black. All right, here is, there's a brushed jogger. These are soft too. I do have one pair of um, like, like a soft jogger. I have one pair that's more like a dress pant with a, just a jogger. And these, um, the soft ones, but they're fuzzy. They're like fleece. And they are covered in dog hair all the time. I'm about to just toss them. These are like a sweatshirt material. Are there pockets? There are pockets. They have a drawstring. These are by Dylan Ultra Soft Brushed Jogger in a size small petite for $62. There is no way a small petite is going to fit me comfortably right now. These are gonna look like leggings on me. I, I, I just know it. Um, and they are black and they would be covered in dog hair, but that's my life. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, we have the Eddie half zip sweatshirt, which must be this in the color midnight, but this looks like a light gray. And it's a medium petite for $64. Oh, it looks like it's going to be crop. Now, I understand what they're doing here so that it's not overwhelming and going over your waist. Hold on. Sorry, I will save you that sneeze. So there is a zip here by Nia. I mean, it's cute, but that would be constantly coming up. And that's just a little too on the short side for me, I think. But I understand. It's, I just like I'm used to my sweatshirts being oversized and longer and going to a sweatshirt that's shorter would probably be difficult for me but I will try that on with the black joggers I believe I've tried this on before this is the Vera Crochet panel striped tank you know what 
my daughter tried this on before and I tried it on at her house and it was too big. Hem and thread, white, large, fit like fits like an extra large. She got this in her short story sometime the end of last year, I think. And I went over there for her try on and then she had me try it on and it was just too big for me. Probably not anymore, right? And it is $38. There's a slit in the back. Problem is, I mean, it's, it's see-through here. I mean, it's really cute, but I would not feel comfortable. I'm not one that's just gonna walk around with my belly showing. So those are probably, that's probably gonna be a no as well. And then the Petite Absolution Crop Jeans by Democracy, they are a size six, which will probably still fit because Democracy tends to have quite a bit of stretch in it. So they may be snug, but I'm probably going to be able to get these on. In fact, the jeans I'm wearing today are a size six, and I think, I think they might be Democracy. Not because I'm a size six anymore. I am very much a size eight going and, and, and heading in the wrong direction, um, even even a 10 at this point. So um, that's just, you know, you're talking about, you see the stretch that's in that? All right, let me grab Adam and we'll do a try on. All right, so I went ahead and put the two Nia pieces on. This is the Nia half zip sweatshirt in the color Midnight. And then these are the Dylan soft stretch brush joggers in color black, both by Nia, medium petite, small petite. Um, the let These do fit like leggings, they're really comfortable, but maybe what happens when I wear black fuzzy pants? So you get covered in dog hair. Yes, so these are gonna be a no, and they do have pockets, they're super comfortable. I This is too short for me. Um, it feels, fits great everywhere else, and I understand the reasoning for the petite, but I, this is not a comfortable fit for me. And maybe if I was teeny tiny or whatever and I didn't mind, you know, it coming up above my waistband or something, it'd be fine. But um, these are both going to be no pieces. All right, so I have the next two pieces on. This is definitely more in tune to the seasons we're going into here in Georgia. Um, the top is the Vera Crochet Panel Striped Tank by Hem and Thread in the color white. It's a large, fits like an extra large. This might actually be the one that Emily tried on a couple of months ago and I tried on at her house. Um, you can do, you can see that it's completely see-through through here. My skin shows, you can actually see my belly button through here. It's cute. Um, I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel wearing it outside the house. I, I think it's cute. I think it would be fine. Just my opinion. Okay, well, I mean, it's a little on the short side. Um, it does have a little slit in the back here. Um, is it showing the skin back there? Nope. Okay. So it's cute. It was cute when I tried it at her house. Um, like I said, I am up a few pounds, so that's probably why it fits now. Then it seemed a little boxy, and now it feels right. <laughs> so this is cute. Um, and then the pants are the Petite Absolution Crop Jeans by Democracy. I told you I'd be able to get them up. Are they tight? Yes, they're tight. They are absolutely tight. They are a size 6, and I don't wear a size 6 right now. So they're size 6 Petite. Um, they are cropped. I did unroll one. Um, I think I'd like it better unrolled than I like it rolled. So this with a little pair of wedges would be cute. And what's funny with my knee, I can walk better in wedges than I can in flats. I know I wear flats most of the time because I'm working most of the time, but somehow it, it changes the placement of the pain in my knee. See, if when I do that, I don't feel it as much as when I put the weight on my left leg flat. Don't know why that is, but I think this would be a cute outfit with some wedges. I am paying attention to what I'm eating now. So yes, they're tight, but they're not like, I, they're, they're stretchy, right? So I think this is cute. I just don't know how I feel about my belly showing right now. So, all right, I'm gonna try on the sweater. I'm gonna keep these jeans on and try on the sweater and then we'll do a quick recap. All right, last piece is the sweater. I did go ahead and put on some mules because I don't have any sandals up here. But this is, um, you know, how I would wear these jeans is with mules or sandals, a wedge, something a little higher. Anyway, this sweater is the Christy V-neck striped sweater pullover uh, by Dreamers, ivory and black, size medium petite. And it does fit me really, really nice. I just don't need any sweaters right now. We're getting ready to get really hot down here. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I had to do some work. Um, going to do the recap real quick and then get back to work. So just want to get this filmed in one day, you know? All right. <sighs> Let's just start with you know, the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. No to both of these um, for the reasons I said in, you know, when I was trying them on. Um, the sweater is super cute. It's just 
I don't need a sweater right now. It is today is supposed to be mid 70s and a thin like this is almost too warm um, for the afternoons, not for the mornings and we're not for the evenings, but for the afternoons. Um, I actually thought this was super cute, this little tank top, but when looking at the care instructions, this is 100% rayon and it will accidentally get washed and dried and then it will fit my granddaughter. So that's gonna be a no. And the jeans, um, yes, they were snug on me, um, but, but I really liked them, but I'm not going to get them because I, like my husband and I were talking about, I do have quite a few pairs of jeans that I need to go through. I need to, instead of having them, they're stacked on shelves right now based on style. So whether they're capris um, or um, straight legs, skinny jeans, uh, boot cut, whatever, they're like that, but there's... A variety of sizes I need to do them by size so I know which ones I can grab for because sometimes that's kind of a pain so I'm gonna take the $25 loss on this one um, and when I, I wasn't able to change my subscription on there um, until I check out that's why I wanted to go ahead and get this over with because I could have sworn I had stopped this for now you know but um, I mean I still may do a trunk club from time to time and a stitch fix from time to time just for a little bit of a refresh to get some new things in but Honestly, you know, the fact that my daughter got this, um, I want to say it was last year. I can't remember when this was. So I, I've, I don't know. That's not a new piece. I've seen this twice now. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, I hope you guys have a very happy day. And um, yeah, I finally did an unboxing in 2021, right? I will see you guys soon. Bye.